In this lecture, we are going to have problem number four on maximum power transfer theorem. And in this problem, the network is having one dependent source present. So let us read the problem. In the network of figure, this network, the maximum power is delivered to RL if its value is. We are having four options in the question and we need to choose one correct option. Now moving on to the network we have, this branch is having our load resistance and following the question, we will find out value of RL for which the maximum power is transferred to it. And we know from maximum power transfer theorem, when RL is equal to the Thevenin's equivalent resistance of the network, maximum power is transferred to it. So we are simply needed to find out RTH of this network. The step number one in calculation of RTH is open circuiting the load. And then the step number two is to short circuit the ideal independent voltage sources and open circuit the ideal independent current sources and the dependent sources remain as they are. So we are going to leave this dependent source as it is and we are going to short circuit the ideal independent voltage source we have. So we are done with the modifications and now we can find out RTH. So what is RTH? RTH is equal to 0.5 I1 in parallel with 20 ohms in parallel with 40 ohms. So there is a problem. We have one dependent source in parallel with two parallel resistors and therefore we cannot have RTH directly. Now if you remember, we have already handled this kind of situation in Thevenin's theorem. We know while calculating RTH, if a dependent source is getting involved, we add one voltage source or one current source between the two terminals. And uh, let us say that V is the voltage provided by the source and I is the current leaving the positive terminal of this added source. Now if I ask you what is the resistance across this voltage source, you will say V over I. Voltage V divided by current I and this resistance is RTH. So we can have RTH if we can find out V over I. So we will shift our focus on calculating V over I. This point, this point, this point and this point they have the same potential. So this entire line can be considered as a single node. And to this node we have four branches connected. This branch is having current I1 leaving the node. This branch is having current I entering the node. This branch will have current V over 20 leaving the node. Why? Because it is having the resistance equal to 20 ohms and voltage across it is equal to V. And this branch is having current 0.5 I1 entering the node. So we can apply KVL at this node and we will have 0.5 I1 the entering current plus I the entering current equal to V over 20 the leaving current plus I1 the leaving current. Now when you subtract I1 on both the sides you will have minus 0.5 I1 plus I equal to V over 20. Now we can write I1 equal to V divided by 40. We can write it as V divided by 40. So this is what we have now. And we have replaced I1 by V over 40 because we want V and I in the equation. We want to find out V over I and that is why we want only V and I in the equation. Now this I can write as minus V divided by 80. Then we have plus I equal to V divided by 20. 
I will add V divided by 80 on both the sides. We will have I equal to V divided by 20 plus V divided by 80. So we have I equal to 4 times V plus V divided by 80 or we can have I equal to V divided by 16. This will give us V over I equal to 16 ohms and this is our RTH and for maximum power RL should be equal to RTH so RL should be equal to 16 ohms this is our answer option A is the correct option